Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different. I am going to do a first impressions unboxing for um, a wig that I just received in the mail. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope this video um, is reaching you in good spirits today. Hope you're feeling good. Um, hope the day's going well and all that good stuff. Uh, before we start, I need you guys to subscribe to my channel. And I also need you to hit that bell in the corner there. Hit that bell for notifications for when I post new videos. And then, why not like the video? I mean, you're already here. You already came. I'm pretty sure you had a good time. So just like the video, it helped me out a great deal. Um, so we can now get to business and jump right into this video. Um, the hair that I ordered with my own coin, this is not sponsored, um, I ordered a wig. First, let me backtrack and say, I don't know, you see my hair. I got a little pixie going on. But um, because my hair is colored, I don't want to overprocess my hair. So I need to give my hair a break in between um, the growl stages. So if I keep bleaching it, I'm going to damage it. Um, I am natural. I plan on staying natural and I plan on staying blonde. So in order to uh, keep the integrity of my hair and the longevity of the color and all that good stuff, I need to um, not color it as much and don't over process it by frying it with the bleach. So my in-between styles will be protective styles such as wigs. And um, I just decided to order me a wig. I like wigs anyway, you know what I mean? I really have to give a big explanation as to why I'm gonna be wearing a wig. I'm just gonna be wearing a wig. Okay, okay. Um, so the wig that I received is from Bios Fashion Store on AliExpress. And the specs on this wig are, it is a body wave lace closure. If you see me looking down, that's because I'm reading my notes. Gotta be prepared. Um, it is a body wave lace closure wig. It is 180% density. 22 inches it's brazilian hair um pre-plucked and it's supposed to have transparent swiss lace and it's the average cap size again like i said i ordered this wig with my own coin and it was 122 dollars and 40 cents and then with taxes 127 dollars I did receive this wig in about a week. I ordered it on Thursday, April 24th, and I just received it today, which is Thursday, April 29th. So it was about a week. Um, the seller, we didn't really have much communication. We didn't have any communication at all, actually. I just, um, when I ordered the wig, I had cut my transactions off on my card and I forgot. So um, I ordered it and I got a order received email from AliExpress, but I got a declined email from my bank. And then I went back in, I saw the funds were actually deducted from my account. So I contacted the seller and said, hey, did my order go through? Okay. And they said, yes, we'll be shipping your order out soon. And that's it. <laughs> literally that's it that's all i heard from them um i do order from aliexpress quite often actually and i didn't have a channel then to show you guys what i was ordering but um i order every time i order a wig i order an, a human hair wig i order it from aliexpress um this is the thing you really gambling with aliexpress it's really a toss of the dice because you just never know what you're gonna get you just don't know so 
Um, I still order from there. I mean, all my wigs are pretty decent. With my hairstyles, I don't necessarily keep my hair up for long periods of time. So, um, they have been fine for me. They service me for about a month or two and then they're good. Then I'll get tired and I want something else. So to me, AliExpress is not a place that you order from when you want um, longevity, I should say. Um, but we'll see because maybe I just haven't been ordering from the right vendors. Maybe they have um, changed their, little, their, their, their shit, got their shit together. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's get into, let's get into this. Um, this was delivered via USPS, the postal service. So for me to have it in a week is pretty good. Um, oh, I was getting ready to tell y'all my last experience with AliExpress. My last experience I ordered from IC Hair, which is I-S-E-E. -E. And I decided to try their Mongolian kinky curly hair. And um, I had planned to go to a concert and uh, I wanted to wear a wig because this was before I cut my hair. I was in between, this was in January of 2021. I was in between of um, what I was gonna do with my hair and all that jazz. So I ordered a wig um the communication with this vendor was really good like they messaged me almost every other day saying you know your product is on its way please let us know when your product arrives blah 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 uh paid about a hundred dollars for the wig again i don't necessarily pay for longevity i want decent quality but what can you expect for a hundred dollars you know what i mean like i don't expect for the shit to just be falling out in glumps every time i run my fingers through it but you know it's $100. So anyway, long story short, they had the package delivered via FedEx. Um, I don't know if you've ever received a package via FedEx, but you have the option to have it delivered to a pickup location. And nine times out of 10, those are Walgreens. Um, I stay in an apartment unit and I didn't want to risk the, the danger of someone taking my wig. Um, because FedEx is so careless with your packages, they will just leave them outside. They will leave them in any open space. Didn't want that to happen. So I had my package um, delivered to the nearest Walgreens near me. Girl, I get to the Walgreens to pick up my package, okay? And it's not there. So now I'm going back and forth with FedEx and um, I see the vendor and I'm like, listen, I don't have my package. I came to pick it up. They said it's not here. Actually, I never even got a notification telling me that my package was there. I just was counting the days and I was like, it's getting too close to the date that I'm trying to go somewhere. Like, where is my hair? And I get to the place and my hair is not there. Long story short, somebody who worked at the Walgreens stole my hair. So if you work at the Walgreens on MLK Drive, in Milwaukee, one of you bitches stole my fucking hair. And I know you stole it, okay? Because FedEx delivered it. Um, so yeah, girl, I never received my hair. And the vendor was really tight with giving me my money back. They did not want to give me my money back. They really thought I was lying. Um, long story short, I ended up getting my little coin back. But at the end of the day, I will never order from IC again. I didn't, I didn't respect how they handled business at all. It was pretty nasty. But that doesn't have anything to do with B.O.'s fashion store. Okay, so um, B.O.'s, B-E-E-O-S fashion store is the vendor that I ordered this hair from. Um, it came in the mail. It was in my mailbox when I got off work. And it came in this little gray packaging here. Okay, like that. And when I took it out, it's like this. I actually, this is my first time opening it. I didn't even open it. So this is a real first impressions. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Um, the box says high quality wig, beauty and life never change. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but. Um, all right, so this is how. 
It is packaged. Um, it is a contact card inside. All five stars, beautiful pictures. They want me to give them five stars. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I've never given five stars, not for AliExpress, but we'll see. So it says to contact them if you have any questions or concerns first. I bet. I bet. So, because of this little contact card here. And then, oh, okay. Here's the hair. I'm gonna tell you right now, it don't look like it's 22 inches. And then it came with this little clip. You don't look like you 22 inch. And this is what it says on the bag. Came with some wig caps. I don't even like this color wig cap. I mean, that's nice that they included it, but I hate this color because I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not this color. I hate those color wig caps. It's a passion. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So it's in a net. Oh, it also includes a um, elastic strap, elastic band. That's pretty cool. And it is not transparent lace at all. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all, it was a five by five lace closure that I ordered. Um, because me and lace fronts just don't do well. I sweat so profusely all the time that, um, yeah, that's that wouldn't work for me. Let me check my specs again. Was it four by four? It gotta be a four by four lace closure because this is the lace, this is the closure here, okay? And this is a four by four, it's not five by five. And the lace is supposed to be transparent and it is clearly not transparent, boo. This is like a light brown. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so I noticed these little short pieces up here in the front. That's like a whole group of them. Like, you see that? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be baby? Because it's right here at the front of the wig. So, they don't wanna stay on. I don't know if that's supposed, to, I don't know what this is, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> yeah, this is like some 10 inch, eight or 10 inch hair that they have at the front of the wig here. And it's basically all of the closure. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, I, mm -mm, I don't like that. Um, the wig has four clips inside. One, two, three, and then one in the back, four. Um, it has the elastic band, as you can see. And it definitely does not appear, it appears that it may be like a 20, 18 or 20 inch. 22 is not giving me, it's not giving me 22 inches. And it's supposed to be 180% density. Now, let's get into that. I mean, it is on the thicker side than I have seen for AliExpress. So I'm going to say that it is, but I'll be able to really tell once. I guess once I get it washed and like on my head, then I'll be able to tell. But I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's 180 percent. It's giving that. It, it's giving that. Um, it smells like processed hair. It smells like beauty supply. Processed hair. It's small. Uh, I mean, it's soft. Um, but this is what's throwing me off. This here. These 
shorter pieces up here at the top. I don't understand what that's about. I can see if it was a couple pieces, but it's it's damn near, like I said, the closure part of the of the wig. So I definitely don't like that. And it's not even it's straight. It's not even the same pattern. It's straight. <laughs> It's straight hair. It's not even the same pattern as the rest of the hair. See, like I said, it's a gamble, boo. Anytime you order from AliExpress, you just never know what the hell you're going to get. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll do a follow-up video um, on the actual install and wear of this wig uh because i don't know i don't know how to feel about it right i, I know i don't like those short ass pieces of, of hair that gathered closure part of that hair and if i'm not mistaken it's not even this is like darker it looked like black hair and this look like brown hair to me i don't know if you can really see it on the camera yeah, you can see it. This is black. This is... What the fuck kind of hair is this? What is that? Yo, they snap. Um, I'm definitely going to be sending a message about this to the to the vendor. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens. So, yeah. Let me put that over there. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video once I finally install it and, I, you know, wash it, get it installed and all that good stuff. And um, I'll let y'all know. I, I, I'll let y'all know. All right. See y'all later.